Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this, that means Artitude Cosmetics has just shown their newest palettes. If you guys want to see some swatches, eye looks, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I received the new Obsession palette from Artitude Cosmetics in PR. I do have an affiliate code with the brand. It's KH Makeup if you are planning to shop this drop. So I did film some close-ups and swatches of this palette that I'm going to pop on the screen while I show it to you guys, but it's so good. I've already created one look with this and I'm about to create a second look so you guys can see what this palette can do. And we also have a few other things as part of this collection. We have two highlighters which are so so cute. They come in this cardboard packaging and this is what the packaging on the highlighters looks like. I kind of love how small these are because I can never actually pan anything really so I love that you get a smaller size product here and these are basically like multi-chromes. One shifts like a peach green red and the other one shifts purple. That is the shade Transition. I'm wearing this in my green look so you'll see it and I'm gonna wear Dimension in this other look that I'm gonna do today but those are fun and then they also created these silicone applicators. I feel like these are super handy when you're working with like pressed glitters and things like that or if you want to you know apply a really foily shadow I also like to use these when I'm mixing different things so really really fun silicone applicators if you're interested I also saw that they are launching a set of lashes I believe with this collection I'm not a big lash gal so if there is any extra information that I can find for you guys I will let you know down in the comments and also this collection is launching on November 2nd. So yeah, it is a very, very soon. And they also included in the package a palette I have been eyeing from them for a while. I was gonna do like a multiple looks, multiple palette video, but I just don't have the time. So I'm gonna do two looks with their new launch. And maybe if you guys wanna see a look with this palette, I can do it as like a reel or a short here on YouTube. But this is their Man Eater palette. I feel like this is just such a fun color story. This was their launch this summer, I believe. And yeah, I can't wait to dive into it. You guys know these colors are so me. And then back in the day, I did get a PR package from them as well. And this is their Phoenix palette. I believe they still stock this one. I was just so late to the party with this one that I decided to include this in a giveaway, but I haven't given it away yet. So I just wanted to show you guys this color story in a video as well. Let me know if you guys want to see maybe this one and the man eater in a video together or if I should just stick to it and give this one away and just create a look with this one. I am always open for suggestions so let me know but I'm sure you guys have seen all of the swatches and the close-ups now so let's go ahead and roll into the first look I created with this new palette. And I'm going to do something green and blue, so I'm going to start off with this shade called Journey, and we're going to put that on the outer corner. Okay, that is such a pretty teal blue shade. Next, I want to go into the shade called Leaves. This is like my favorite shade of green. It's like a true green, I guess is how I would describe it. Okay, so now I want to take the shimmer shades. I'm not going to fix up the mattes just yet. I'm going to do that at the end. So I want to use the shade called Transition all over my lid. It's like a really beautiful multi-chrome like green shade. So I think it's going to apply beautifully all over the lid. And I'm going to pick it up on this flat Sigma brush. Ooh, maybe I want to use Crisp too. That looks beautiful as well. We'll see. I knew that shadow was going to foil good. Oh, it swatched so good that I knew it was just going to apply beautifully as well. 
we're just gonna go over the whole eye that is so pretty okay I love this that's it I'm not doing any more looks this is it no I'm just kidding okay this is amazing I want to deepen up the outer corner but really quick I want to do the lower lash line okay so to make the waterline pop I use this shade from Natasha Denona it's part of the Yuka collection it's called Camu Camu love this color and I'm gonna take my little pencil brush I'm gonna start off with the shade leaves and I'm gonna blend that into the waterline okay and then I'm gonna take a little bit of journey and pop that on the outer bit of the waterline and then for the inner corner I'm gonna take this shade called crisp which is the like very pale green shade and we're gonna give it a little spray and we're gonna pop that oh on the inner corner holy moly that is such a pretty look are you kidding me okay so I want to take like a smaller blending brush I might take this one from Unearthly and I'm gonna go into the black shade called Detachment and I'm gonna use that to smoke out the outer corner just a little bit and then I'm gonna take the other brush that I used for the blues and greens and just kind of help blend the black out a little bit more just so it's not too harsh okay I love this look I love green eyeshadows you guys know this I love how beautiful and metallic that shadow was I cannot wait to play with more shadows from this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look and I will be right back to show you guys what it looks like with some mascara and highlight and all of the things okay friends so here is the finished look with the obsessions palette oh my gosh i really really love this so much my husband came in here and he's like you look like a chameleon and that is definitely a compliment okay let me tell you really quick what else i used to finish up this look my lip combo i thought was kind of a fun one i used the hard candy lip liner in the shade once bitten so this is a drugstore lip liner that they sent me and then this is the fantasy cosmetica lip oil in the shade fins fins fines fins i'm sorry super pretty super comfy love that so much and then for highlighter today i'm wearing the new one from artitude this is the shade transition it's a beautiful like green to peach to red highlighter i feel like we've seen this before from other brands but this one is lovely as well perfect for fall for blush i'm wearing my sigma tiger lily blush this is in my sigma favorite set and then for bronzer i pulled out a old one that i haven't used in a while this is the fenty beauty cream bronzer in the shade macchiato so i thought i would give that a whirl so yeah this is the finish look now let's go ahead and roll into another look okay friends it's time to create look number two and i kind of want to do a warm tone look with like these shades right here i feel like there are quite a few options with this palette but it's definitely like snowy here we just had our first snowfall overnight which I'm kind of sad about but I'm thinking that I'm kind of in the mood for fall so I thought these three shades would be beautiful actually just this, this whole row would be beautiful so I think I'm gonna go ahead and create something with that so I'm gonna grab a Sigma brush and I'm gonna go into the shade called fall and it's just a warm tone like terracotta brown shade and we're gonna pop that on the crease Okay, next I'm going to use this shade called Maple. It's like a really pretty burgundy shade. And I'm just going to tuck that into the outer corner. Okay, those two shades seem very similar on the eye, so I'm going to need a little bit more depth to it. I'm going to grab some of the black shade and put that on the outer corner as well. 
Okay, so now that I've had some depth added to the outer corner, I'm going to go back into the blending brush and just blend the outer corner with the rest of the crease. Okay, so now that I have the mattes placed where I want them to, I want to go ahead with the metallics. I definitely want to go in with the shade Obsession which is the name of the palette as well. This one looks like it's a multi-chrome too. I'm seeing like that peachy, greeny, goldy shift, so I'm sure it's gonna come alive on the eyes. And I'm just gonna grab a flat brush, and I'm thinking I might just apply this on my entire lid like I did the green shade, because then the multi-chrome just really gets to shine. Oh boy, this is beautiful. Holy moly. It's definitely grungier than what I usually do on my eyes because I don't typically wear such a dark color on my entire lid. But I couldn't help myself. Ooh, it also has like a purple, like a eggplant. Whew, this is so dark and dramatic looking. I am totally feeling this look holy guacamole that's pretty am i allowed to say that about my own eye looks oh my god that is so beautiful i can't even i think i'm actually going to use the shade transition in the inner corner i think that'll look really good with the metallic on my eyelids but i'm going to throw on a eyeliner and then finish off the rest of this look real quick Okay, so I've been loving this pencil brush from Game Beauty, and I'm going to go into the shade Transition quick, and we're going to give it a little spray, and we're going to pop that on the inner corner. Do you see that color? I'm telling you, it's perfect for an inner corner for this eye look, because it has that peachy shift. Oh my god, that looks amazing in my opinion. And now let's go ahead and grab some of those mattes to throw in the lower lash line. So I'm going to go into the shade Fall. And I'm just going to run that on the waterline. And then I'm going to take the brush that I used for the black shade. And I'm just going to run that down towards the waterline just to help blend the outer corner with the waterline just a little bit. You guys know I'm always paranoid about those two matching up so I'm gonna grab a little bit of that burgundy shade and that brown shade and just kind of run that up and down the edge of the look here. Okay, I definitely need to get my brows done, but that is a problem for a different day. So the look is done. It's very grungy, and I'm going to go ahead and throw on a blush so we can try out the highlighter shade as well. Okay, so for blush, I want to use something berry tone. I grabbed this one from the Snow White collection. It's called Just Rosy from ColourPop. It looks absolutely beautiful, and I haven't used it in a hot second super duper pigmented so i'm just gonna put a little bit on and just really blend it y'all would you believe the sephora sale started last night and i had some stuff in my cart but shockingly it was all mostly all fragrances and so i decided to hold off because i'm like this is crazy I am surprised I don't want that new makeup and so I've been waiting so I haven't actually placed a Sephora order yet. Um, I think I'm going to get the Huda palette when it launches on the 1st. So yeah, let me know. Are you guys shocked? Because I'm a little shocked at myself that I haven't placed an order yet but I'm also kind of broke. It's a little bit ridiculous but... I don't know, maybe if you are a, you know, parent or a dog parent or a fur parent, you know, like you have a pet or something, you can relate. But I feel like with the holiday season fast approaching, I've just been chopping for the kiddos and I'm not even mad about it. I'm just like, meh, I don't need anything. I don't need clothes. My kids need every bluey 
item that, you know, any brand thinks of. But anyway, the look is done. That highlighter was so cool. It's like purpley. I could see like a slight tint of it. So I'm going to spray my face. I'm going to put on a lip product, do something with this hair, and I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts on these new makeup items I tried. Okay friends, so here is look number two all done. And I'm going to tell you really quick what else is on my face today to complete this look. So I did use the Natasha Denona Foundation X. I'm trying to finish this up. I also reached for my Hourglass Concealer. I haven't used this one in a while. And I saw this in somebody's Sephora Sale Recommendations video. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to use that. So I did it. And then my lippy is from Angelica and Odin's Eye. This is the shade Swamp Fog. You guys know I love a good terracotta nude shade. Bronzer is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Macchiato. Blush is from ColourPop Snow White. This is just rosy. And then the highlighter is the shade Dimension from Artitude. So that is everything that I used on my face today. So definitely let me know down in the comments. Do you like the green look? Use a green heart. If you like this kind of purpley look, then use a purple heart. Vote for your favorite look. I'm not going to lie, I definitely like the green look more than this one. This is definitely a more grungy look than I planned in my head. So yeah, a little bit different, but that green eye look slid. I would wear that every day of the week if that was the only look I could do. Like that is the look I would choose because I love greens. And the multi-chrome in here is so, so good. Anyways, let's go ahead and break down the items that I received from this collection. So I did end up trying these silicone applicators, but I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. I'm very happy to own these. But I remember back in the day when I was using a lot of liquid eyeshadows, especially those like multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows, these are so nice because you can like help smoothen them and like spread them on your lid with stuff like this. So definitely handy to have in my collection. I do really like these highlighters. I think they were very easy to blend. I don't feel like they're too over the top. You guys know me. I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to colorful highlighters, but I feel like they pick two very nice shades that I can wear even on my face and as inner corner shades. So I could definitely see myself reaching for these and I love how small these are. I think that's so nice because yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I'm never going to pan a highlighter. So it's nice to have them in such a convenient size. And then last but certainly not least, the eyeshadow palette. Honestly, I'm blown away. This is the first eyeshadow palette I've tried from Artitude. And I feel like the formula is absolutely lovely. The mattes are super pigmented. They blend so nicely. They layer so nicely. And I am just very, very impressed. The metallics are so nice and buttery out of this world they build really nicely and they go on nice and opaque and glidey and smooth and just all my favorite things when it comes to metallics so overall i'm very very pleased with this palette i'm not sure how much this is going to retail for i'll be very curious to find out i think that'll also influence how i feel about this palette just seeing what the price point is. Anyways, I'm so excited to be able to try this out and tell you guys how wonderful it is. I definitely would love to know your thoughts if you want me to use these palettes in another video. Let me know any questions, concerns, brilliant insights you might have in regards to these ones. So like I said at the start of this video, this collection launches on the 2nd of November and this was sent to me by the brand. I do have a discount code you can use. It's KH Makeup if you would like to save some extra money on the collection. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this brand before? Do you have any experiences? Let me know down in the comments. You guys know I love chatting too down there. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, guys.